Like, I'm trying to be very attentive, but this place is big. Okay, here's nothing. It's a dead end. Thank God. Okay, uh, where did I came from? This way. And what about this way? From the sound of it, whatever had just fallen was monumental in size. Carl Faubert was on edge. Yeah. I can tell. Okay, I'm not I'm not ready for all this. I haven't explored. Wait, was it the only possibility? Okay. So, yeah, we're here. Then there was a corridor. This we can't open. Yeah, right, right. So there was also here. Oh my god. So we came up, came from there, here. Requires key. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, we've been here. Wait, where was the... The big room? Such a big hallway? No. Requires a key. Yeah, this... Gosh, what is this? Bar, uh huh. So there's also a room. Oh my god! I have no freaking clue. Whoa. Uh, Rochelle... Esther Hamilton to my dear beloved and talented wife. The world is now dimmer without your inspiring flame. You were always Chicago's best actress. Rest in peace. Okay.
Okay, we've been here. I would like to say that I'm getting already a layout of the of the place, but not at all. Okay. But good to know that that, that the, there are already places that I've been to. So we're just gonna continue going. Okay, I've been here. Uh, what about this door? Oh wait, okay, yeah. So, okay, that's the entrance. All right. Okay, that's where I came. Here I've been. Okay, so where was the snow? Yeah, snow, but like... Key. Yeah, here. No? God damn. We've got to go through the library. I think that's the... Like upstairs was it? So let's go through them. Jesus. Okay. Um. Let's go here. It's on the second floor. Like, for sure. Okay, he was closed. So let's check this out first. Oh my God! It's not. Oh. We're back to the kitchen. All right. Okay. We've also been here. Here also. Let's go... There we also been. Let's go to the second floor. As he approached this room, Carl again felt an unpleasant sensation of energy, as if his entire being was bubbling on a molecular level. Requires key. Okay, we're back finally. Uh, where was it? Uh, okay. 
up the library. All right, all right, okay, that's fine. Let's see what this is about. I found another victim of reason and turn, possibly one of the servants. Yeah, okay, library. Hamilton's room would keep its secrets. A disaster made it impossible to enter. Fine. In this boudoir's former glory, you would have seen Lady Hamilton's refinement in every inch of the tapestry. It had become only a shadow of what it once was. Room key. Projection room. Ah, oh, where was it? Diary. Whoa. Uh, okay, I'm gonna read it. Uh, writing seems to be the only thing to do here. I'm... Uh, disinterested about everything. The beauty of the first instance do not impress me anymore. I only feel the frigid condition of the place making it way deeper and, deep and deeper into my bones. William is trying hard for me to forgive him for locking me up in this desert. The workers of the manor just finished the new pearl of the house. A projection room where the best images of me are displayed. Movies scroll down along with my best angles and my best lines. William ignores that um, to be confronted by these bright eyes of mine only re reminds me that I became a sad shadow of myself. I wonder why this huge room? To see the great actress I once was? For him to enjoy what's left of my image? To forget I'm cooling down in this ice castle? He wants to make... Oh, he wants to make me feel guilty for all the sadness that I have too. So he uses her. He thinks I am unaware of what he does. Mm, that from the perfumes he carries on himself when he returns home home I don't know about the way their body danced behind my back Henry is worried about his little mom about how I get stuck for days staring at the emptiness for him I will have to put up with all this a little bit more for him I will hold all of my disappointments back for him I will remain silent for him I will stop Cultivating this anger, I feel toward this mine and the silence of the north, far from honking cars of Chicago, of the worker, workers shouting in the streets, of the crowd screaming my name. I think a lot about my mother these days, and how she's, uh, she would be disappointed to fire out of a star like me being put out by such a snowy sky. My fingers are sore from all the work, and I'm not fast enough. I'm afraid... The consumes for the lights of the past will not be ready on time, or that they will be not majestic enough. I might need to ask Emily to take me to Henry Will in order to get better fabrics. This project, this project is all I am left. The beauty of these costumes will determine who 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 I am. William is very stressed as well. An employee came to deliver a report, and never once did the boss lay his eyes on the worker. What could it be? The usual overbeating William seemed shrunk in front of his subordinate. There was blood in William's chamber pot this morning. I discussed it with him over lunch and asked if he was feeling all right. I noticed how agi agitated he was all night long. His uh, whole body shakes when he coughs, scratching his throat enough to make him bleed. When I saw his chamber pot, I could not help slightly smiling. I immediately regretted the smile. I felt ashamed. Why my nightmare ever, ever end? Will. My project for Emily is moving along really well. I might ever finish it before Christmas. She is so sweet and I am so grateful to count on her uh, this rough patch. I am so pleased that she is teaching Henry French. 
His school uh, mates can un can finally understand him, and not just those ugly snobs were brought here by their engineer fathers. I'm relieved. If William knew that his son is a member of high society, was wearing the that worker's dirty tongue, I can only imagine how mad he would get. I live for Henry. His talent with words fulfill me. He knows how to create sentences the way I knew how to use my body to dance. His poetic mind will uh, one day describe beautiful universes. I will give Emily some names of people I know in New York. When the time comes, his talent will be discovered. I, I hope nothing comes between him and his dreams. I hope he doesn't make the same mistakes as his mother. I suffer from my own reflection in the window of the empty sound of my steps in this bedroom of my own voice when I'm talking to myself. I, I get nauseous looking at the snow piling up at the base of a mountain. I feel alone. There is nothing good left on an old and withered actress like me except for others to remember what it looks like to lose everything. I destroyed the projection screen yesterday. William was so furious I thought he was going to tear down the whole mansion apart. Henry ignores me. I am not even a mother anymore. I wish I could give him all the love I have left. The energy that keeps me alive, it only comes from him, my anchor, but Henry is not here, there to keep his old mother safe anymore. Henry, I love you, Henry, you are my everything. Never would I leave you if it wasn't that we already lost each other. Be careful, my little boy. Life is malicious, always trying to eat every little bit of your soul. You will be great and beautiful. Keep fighting. Did she kill herself? Well, she died, but did she kill his herself? Maybe. Is it her? Looking at these posters, Faubert took the measure of what Rochelle Hamilton had to give up to follow her husband in these barren lands. Okay. Only spare parts. Fine. Oh, I couldn't inspect him. I didn't even thought. Another frozen corpse. Frozen watch. Sun, October 4th, uh, 1750. Walla, Joseph Gaston Guy Hamilton's gardener. Where am I again? I've been here, but... It was forced open. from the other side and again I'm lost okay I have found myself again okay
Ah, okay. So this one requires a key, right? Just a few days of renovation work and you'll finally have your very own projection, my dear. Aren't you going to say anything? There's nothing to say. Whatever do you mean? For that room, it's not for me. Nothing has ever been. Come now, don't speak nonsense. You know I love you. As much as you love Cynthia? Who? I know about her, William. And I'm too weary to care about anything. You're off your rocker. There is no Cynthia. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Box of typewriter keys? Hearing the screeching sound of the elevator, Carl imagined a metal animal trapped in a snare. There had to be a way to release it. Heavy object. Well, I haven't seen it yet, but okay, I'm gonna believe you. Promotional poster. Emily Lebrun, housekeeper. Mr. Hamilton can be so cruel sometimes. He found Henry's manuscript and violent argument broke out between the two. And Mr. Hamilton ended up throwing the manuscript into the fire in front of Henry. They almost uh, came to blows. Objects were broken. Henry packed up and left. Rachel uh, throughout the scene remains strangely impa impassive. With the same disconnected air that has been hers for several months. Henry promised her that he would come and get her out of, he of here as soon as he could. I thought I saw some emotion in Rachel's eyes, a fle fleeting glimmer which died immediately. I found a bottle of pills in a trash can. It was Prozac. I think I it belonged to Rochelle. The bottle was full. More Polaroids of Joseph. This is bothering an, an, an obsession. Uh, this two seem to have a secret. I caught them talking the other day in the woods near the garden. The conversation was tense. My heart aches. Mr. Hamilton has had, has had Henry's room turned into a guest room. He puts his business guests in here. Traces of Henry has been erased, have been erased. It is as he never existed. I wonder where his belongings are. Probably in the attic. I don't dare to look. I don't know what I'm afraid of. Finding them up there, so sadly forgotten, or finding nothing at all. One of the yellow police banners blew away and got stuck on the roof in the tower. Joseph still hasn't figured out how to get it unstuck. Every time I look out the window, I see that morbid banner. I haven't been able to write about what happened yet. Henry hasn't been told. I hesitate uh, to write to him. It is not my role. I would be blamed for it. I was there when they pulled her up. Part of me wanted to watch, but I turned away at, la at the last second. I wanted to keep a nice image of Rochelle. Rochelle. The rest of the day they were questioned 
We were questioned by the police. I stuck to my story. The day before, Rochelle was not feeling well. In fact, for some time, she had been not spending her days in bed, only coming down to walk in the garden. This morning, I found an empty bed. She had vanished in the middle of the night. Again, she wasn't at the cliff, at least. We couldn't find her. The police think it was an accident. I suppose it is always possible. Only my heart lets me believe something else. His misfortune was so great here, isolated in the forest. Far from all society, her career abandoned and her Henry gone to Quebec. I saw Mr. Hamilton give a few pills to the police, bills, uh, to the police officers while he was talking to them in the background. He bore their silence, no doubt. Uh, Mr. Hamilton refused to hold a funeral for Rochelle. He merely uh, erected a small, very modest stell in the, in the garden. It seems to me strangely like Rochelle. Very fine, delicate, discreet. I think Mr. Hamilton is ashamed of his wife's suicide. I say it now without fear. Rochelle committed suicide. There is no point in hiding it. Mr. Hamilton spends in his hours isolated in his office or in his room in the basement. He eats very little, just works. Is he at least uh, in Marin Marning? The manor seems so empty to me since Rochelle left. I miss her feminine presence terribly. Without her, without Henry, the manor has died. It has lost all life. I'm still not sure what we're going to craft. And why they're like collectibles. Which I can't really pick up, but they're there. <coughs> Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here's nothing. Fantastic. Monster, okay. Well, you're freaking creepy. Uh, why would you take that? That's freaking creepy. Canadian coin. So this is some kind of puzzle, cannot be opened. <clears throat> but so far I've seen only one creepy thing. Cannot be opened. Well, I can open that, but there's nothing in it. What is this? Attic. Blocked by snow. All right. Here's nothing hidden. Okay, cool. 